Hey YouTube, Christian Pepper Gal here. And today I am going to be putting together a chicken noodle soup meal in a bag. So, why don't you come along? The first thing is we need a bag. <laughs> and I am using a one quart mylar bag to put the meals in today. I'll actually be making five meals in the bag, but I'm just going to bring you along to show you how to make one. So, we want to, on the outside of the mylar bag, with a magic marker, put today's date, what the meal is, how to cook it, and well, and how much water it takes and how to cook it and then how long to let it sit. Okay. See this mylar bag has a ziplock on the top and a gusset at the bottom. That gusset comes in real handy for filling the bags because with the gusset the bag can sit upright and it just makes it easier to fill. start out, we are going to put in one quarter cup of dehydrated chicken breast chunks. And this one is Augustin Farms. comes in the big 10 gallon can. And once I've opened that, I put it into canning jars and then um, use my vacuum sealer to vacuum seal the lid and keep all the air out. We're going to need one quarter cup of these chicken breast chunks. And I'm going to pour them directly into the bag. The next thing we're going to need is some noodles. And these are egg noodles that I bought at the store, cooked them, and then dehydrated them. Now the reason for cooking them first um, and dehydrating them instead of just throwing them in the bag is because if you've cooked them and dehydrating, it kind of makes them like instant cooking. Not that they're really instant, but it takes less time for them to cook when you put them in the bag. These don't want to come out. <laughs> well, they all want to come out in bunches. Okay, close enough. And this is uh, one quarter cup, the same as what the chicken breast chunks were. My next ingredient is dehydrated mixed vegetables. These again, um, I dehydrated them myself. They're so easy to do. All you have to do is buy a bag of frozen mixed vegetables at the store, throw them on the dehydrator, dehydrate them, and you're done. And they will go in so many different dishes that you can make up. We're going to also put one quarter cup of the mixed vegetables into the bag. Now that's all of the main chunky ingredients. Um, we're going to start adding some spices in. The first thing of the spices, I guess you'd consider it a spice, is chicken broth. And I'm going to put two teaspoons of chicken broth in the bag. I'm just going to toss it in there with all the other stuff. Then I'm going to add a little cornstarch to help thicken the liquid up some. I'm going to put a half a teaspoon of cornstarch. I'm 
Then I have some onion flakes I put in there just to give it a little flavor. We're going to do a fourth a teaspoon of onion flakes. And parsley, about an eighth teaspoon of parsley, but I um, have the kind that you twist. I don't even know what that's called anymore. So I'm just going to twist a little bit in there to equal out to be about an eighth of a teaspoon, just to guess. Next, we have thyme. And we are going to put a sixteenth of a teaspoon of thyme. Some might just grab a pinch and throw it in. I have an eighth teaspoon measuring spoon I'm going to just do half of. It's not really you know, important that you get exact that amount. Not only that, but you can always add whatever spices that you would like to have in your chicken noodle soup. Then we have uh, garlic powder. I'm going to do a pinch of garlic powder. The way I do that is just sprinkle some out in my hand because it's hard to get my fingers down in there. And then I'm just going to dump that in the bag. And I'm going to do the same thing with some celery seeds. Just add a pinch. Just enough to give it a little flavor. I got too much there. And then not enough. So just a pinch. Put that in there. And that's it for ingredients. How easy was that? The main thing is gathering the ingredients and cooking them, dehydrating them, or buying them, and making sure that you have them. This will make one serving and it'll make about one and a half cups um, per serving. All you have to do to cook it is dump some boiling water in the bag and you got a meal out on the trail, backpacking, hiking, or to put in your bob or your long-term food storage. So I'm going to get everything ready to show you how to seal up the bag to preserve it and I'll be right back with that. Thanks. And I am back. Now the next step in preserving our meal is to seal up the Mylar bag so that oxygen cannot get inside and it will last longer. In fact, this meal should literally last anywhere from 20 to 25 years if it is stored properly. And by storing properly, I mean in an airtight container, in a dark, dry, cool environment. So, first thing we're going to do to seal up the bag is take a paper towel or a dry washcloth or any kind of little uh, kitchen towel or anything and wipe off the inside because we used that um, chicken chunks they had a little powder in them and the powder can get on there and keep it from sealing tightly but I also forgot to show you inside the bag once we had everything in it's kind of hard to see because it's way down there and the reason I used a quart size bag is because I will be putting more water into this meal than I do the ones that I use the smaller pint size bags for. Okay. The first thing I'm going to do is take an oxygen absorber and these oxygen absorbers are 300 cc's in size or however it's measured. And this will pull out all of the excess air that's inside the bag once we seal it up. 
So as you saw, I just dumped the oxygen absorber in. And then I'm going to squeeze out as much of the air as I can from the bag to help the oxygen absorber to work properly. I want to mix it around a little in there so it's not all bunched up at the end, bottom. Okay, then with the zip seal on it, I'm just going to go ahead and seal that shut. The great thing about getting the Mylar bags with the zip seal for these types of meals in a bag is because when you're cooking them, you can pour the water in, zip them up, and they aren't going to spill out all over everything. The water isn't going to. Okay, now, all we have to do to seal it up properly is to use a straight iron that's intended for straightening hair. I've already plugged it in. It's heated up as hot as it'll go. It's on high. And now I'm going to seal the bag. It's just it's so easy. Just clamp on the bag and hold it there. For about maybe 30 seconds or so. And then I'm going to turn the bag over and do the same thing matching up to where I held it before on this part. Overlapping a little bit so we make sure we get it all. And then I'm just going to go over it a little bit more just to make sure there are no little air bubbles in there that are going to escape. We're going to let air escape. Okay, and that's it. There you have it. Chicken noodle soup meal in a bag. Ready to go. You know, I forgot to tell you earlier, one of my very favorite parts or things of making these meals in a bag is when I've had a, a long day, a rough day, or I'm just not feeling good, especially the chicken noodle soup. All I have to do take this out of the out of my pantry pour some boiling water in it let it sit and I've got lunch or supper so it's really easy it's convenient and it's just a lifesaver sometimes to have on hand if you liked this video and would like to see more videos like this please subscribe to my channel you can do that by clicking the button below and then click click the bell next to it and you'll receive notifications every time I put out a new video like this. Also, if you liked it, please click on the like button. So thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed the video and until next time, happy prepping and God bless.